Hi, I'm Charlotte from Freezer Meals 101. I'm Christy. Welcome. Nice to see you. You have been asking us for months when we're going to do our next mega session. And it's coming. It's coming. Yay. My freezer is looking pretty low. I don't know yeah. about yours. I haven't started to dream about it yet. That has happened to me. When my freezer gets so low that I start to have anxiety dreams about freezer meals, <laughs> that I cannot freeze uh, feed my family because I'm running out of freezer meals. So I'm I'm getting there, but I haven't I haven't started dreaming about it yet. Right. But it is time. It's time because we're we're getting really low on the meals and um and we've got other things happening. You know, I'm it's summer. We're camping. Yeah, and I've got a grandbaby coming, so I want to get this done before then mm -hmm. because I just want to get baby snuggles in and I don't want to have to cook or do any of that. I just want to be able to hold a baby. So yeah, I'm excited to get this done. And I'm and her neighbor. I get to come over and hold the baby too, right? Totally. <laughs> totally. <laughs> I'm so excited. Baby. It's going to be awesome. So, uh, but, okay, but we, because we are planning this big mega session. We wanted to inspire you. Yeah. We wanted to tell you how we did it before we do it. Yes. Today's video is how to plan a mega marathon. Now, little caveat here, you can do freezer meals and never do a mega marathon. You can just double your meals. I'm gonna put a video right there on how to do that. Just double what you're making. Put eat one that night, put the other one in the freezer, and then you've got a week's worth of meals at the end of the week, right? Mm -hmm. Or you can do a week's worth. We have many PDFs that you can get. Maybe we'll put yeah, we'll that put one in there too. There. Where it will give you 10 meals. It takes you maybe an hour, two hours to do your prep, do your um, to put your meals assembled together, put them in the freezer. You got you got a week or two of freezer meals. Totally okay to do that. You could do a month at a time. You have had a long time popular blog post of how to do a month of freezer meals without any repeats. Yep, like 30 days, no repeats, yeah. So there's other options out there. I'll put the link for that below, yeah. But we do the mega meal every three months, the mega freezer meals. It works for our family. It's a lot of work. It is a lot of work and we're tired by the time we're done and we're like, oh, I can't believe we're doing this again. So worth it. But so worth, so it. worth it. And if you're going to do your prep anyway, if you're going to do your shopping anyway, you might as well do more. Like that's how we can And you can it. save more. Yes. By doing the big ones because you can catch case lot sales. I'll tell you what, we have an entire video just about how to save money right there when you're doing your freezer meals because then you're also not stopping for um, drive through on your way home, you're not doing the convenience foods, and you have control over your meals, you know what's in them, you know how much salt's in them, you know what kind of vegetables are in them, and you have control over that. So there's a million, there's a million reasons to do yep. freezer meals. We really like to do the big mega meal, and then, I don't know about you, but I kind of forget about it. Once we're done, Yeah. I don't have to think about it again I don't have for to think months. Think about it again. Oh, Literally the mental months. load. Yes. <laughs> yes. So we are big. Do it. Just bite the bullet and do it. Do the big freezer meals. So when you're gonna go do this mega meal, mm -hmm. or even a little mini, you know, one month or a few weeks at a time, you're gonna start with choosing your meals, and that's gonna depend on your likes and your family and your dietary needs and all the things. So funny story. Every time my husband always says, more beef, more beef, too much chicken, more beef. And then every time we make, I mean, we, we do even it out pretty well. Like yep. he does get the beef, it's There's okay. There's variety and sausage and yeah, lots, lots of variety. Lots of variety. Seafood. There's lots of seafood. There's lots of everything. And then he loves the chicken ones the best. Oh, so Every time he's like, oh, that's so good. If we made that one before, you can make that <laughs> one again. So, and right now, because we're in the planning stage and I've been going through the membership uh, recipes lately. I'm just going through some of the back end stuff. And so I'm like, ooh, we haven't made that one in a while. Ooh, we haven't made that one in a while. So I'm making a list of the ones that are like must-haves for us and our family. Mm -hmm. And I will send them to Sharla. And then she makes the list. 
the big megalist. The brain activity over here is very <laughs> impressive. And I like to try new recipes and invent new recipes every time. Every time. Because then that's how we found our some of our best meals and some of our favorites that mm -hmm. we have now is just by trying them. And there's some that we will like make them once and never make again because yeah. they're, yeah, exactly. They're not terrible, but they're just not our favorites. And we have so many good ones that why yeah. would we do like I think, okay one. I think this is the first time I didn't put beef stroganoff in my list. Oh, it's not on my list either. Okay, so, so she makes the list. You choose your meals, and then you make your shopping list mm -hmm. from the meals that you've chosen. And if you're making like two of each or four of each or whatever, you adjust your shopping list accordingly. Now, of course, that's actually like the hardest part. That's harder than assembling the meals and everything, to be mm -hmm. honest with you. It takes a while. But we've made that easier for you. We created the Freezer Meals 101 Club and mm -hmm. you can go there and choose the meals from there and then customize your shopping list based on the amount of servings that you want, based on um, how many of each meal that you wanna make and even based on the metric versus the yeah. units. Yeah, the imperial units or US units. Yeah. yeah. So um, you can customize your shopping list that way. So. You can find the link for that down below, but that's the way that if you want to make it easy and like simplify things, we have been talking for years about like, how could we make this more doable for people? Because this is the part where people right here with the picking of the recipes and the creating the shopping list, it's sometimes the administrative parts that are the stopper for people. So we just kind of did it for you. It's in the list. It's, in the, it's down there below. And it, it really is a yeah. time saver and it's very doable and very easy. And if you want to do five meals, go ahead. If you want to, if you think you can do 15, do it. If you can do 30, like that's, sometimes we do 30. 30 and we do four of each meal, right? So yeah, it's, so it's yeah. like a big day. Our, two days, our days. record is 150 meals. Um, I don't think we're going to try to beat that this time because doing freezer meals in the summer is always a little bit harder for us than doing them in the winter because in the winter being the a house being is Canadian. cooler, yeah, and we can put things on the deck if like you know the. They we'll stay. we'll get to the yeah. the how we do it. We'll tell okay. you about that. Let's get to the how we do it. So so then Charlotte makes the shopping list and then she divides them. Yep. So I take the local grocery store and do it on fifteen percent off day, and I do Costco and Bulk Barn and sometimes. The alcohol if there's booze in any of our yeah sometimes recipes. there's like wine or beer in the recipes and so mm -hmm. that's that goes on your list too and so i do those so something else that she does while she's making her list behind me here in this cabinet is her spice pantry yeah and it's pretty full so <laughs> a lot of spice so when she has time she goes through and does a little checklist of okay we don't need to buy time <laughs> get it <laughs> Um, she never needs to buy cumin again for the rest of her life because yeah. she doesn't always check and then she buys, she puts it on my list and I buy it and there's like 15 things of cumin back there. It's true. But when I do an inventory that just cuts down on the expense because then I know, and I always do an inventory of like what's in the pantry because I buy case lot sale stuff. And yeah. so a lot of the times we don't necessarily need to buy every little thing. Yeah. Um, so, so that's what you have to do. Go through your shopping list. Do I need to buy salt and pepper? Probably not. Do I need to buy water? No. Nope. It's in the tap, <laughs> but it's on the list. In the club, the list is customizable. You can remove that so it's not actually on your list when you print it out and go to the store or on your phone or whatever you want to do. And you can remove anything you already have in your pantry. Totally. Or if you want to buy extra because you're like, well, I need to buy ketchup anyway, I'll just buy two. That's totally fine. You can adjust your list. Or if you want to add toilet paper because, you know, you You're, there. Paper. You're there. You're there. You're <laughs> there. Go ahead and do it. So when we get home from grocery shopping, mm -hmm. we do our prep. Now, prep is like a, there's so That's a much whole thing. to yeah, we like do that afternoon. So it's like mm -hmm. it's half a day. And but that and that's again for our mega meals. But you got to brown your hamburger, brown your sausage, make little sausage meatballs. Sometimes we do. Sometimes we cook chicken ahead or cube chicken ahead. 
um, and then onions. Christy does onions at her house, shredding cheese. She also does cheese, cubing ham, and then dicing like your peppers, your zucchini, uh, slicing your mushrooms, all like there's so much prep, but prep is where like once that's done, they just come together so fast and you're right. literally you have just to do assembling. Your prep. You have to do your prep. And so literally she'll look at her list and she'll say six onions sliced, 13 onions minced, 12 onions chopped coarsely. So then I take care of it. And then I shower before bed because I smell like onions. You'll see in my video. <laughs> There's like 40, sometimes 40 onions. 40 cups of onions. Like it's insane. It's, it's insane. And the cheese, the cheese shredding. There's but do you know what? Now my kids help. Yeah. So I, I prep kids. the onions and then they run them through the chopper. And my, it's like a power tool. When yeah. I use the food processor and my son, he's 12, so he's like, yeah, let me shred the cheese, mom. It's good. Go watch my cheese video. There's like, there's tips and tricks in there that you need to know for your mega meal session. So that it doesn't come together. Mm -hmm. But we're going to put links in the description below to videos for prepping your ground beef, your chicken, your, I've got a new way that I'm doing chicken, like when you have to cook it ahead and that's working really well. Mm -hmm. um, and your sausage and like, so, and yeah. the onions and the cheese. So I'm gonna put links below for videos for specifically how to prep things. So if you wanna go like really back to basics with things and know exactly the easiest, fastest way to prep everything, we've got you. Totally. <laughs> we got that covered. Totally, cause we've done it, I don't know, about a million times. Yeah. We've been doing this together for 10 years and mm -hmm. we did it separately before that. So we are veterans of the freezer cooking. How serendipitous that I moved in two doors down from Charlotte. So perfect. Yeah, it was very good. So once we have our prep done, then we go to bed and we get our rest. <laughs> and now we have to get our beauty rest because we film them. We didn't used to film them. Oh, yeah. And now we film them. So, like, we get up in the morning and we put makeup on. Like, before when we did our freezer meals, like, day one, we looked, you know, like, somewhat presentable. I don't think we had makeup, but, I mean, we looked somewhat presentable. But, like, day, day two, two it's like, ponytails and the frizz yeah. and, the, and the leggings and the totally. bags. Like, and, you know, an old shirt and, you know, but now that we're doing them on video. We, we stiff up a bit. Yeah. For you. <laughs> Because we care about what you have to say about it, apparently. Okay, when I was talking about the shopping, I forgot this thing. And honestly, I forget it when we're doing freezer meals too. So this is kind of ironic. But you should also plan your snacks and lunch for your assembly days. Yes. Because I often forget to do that. And then even though we're making all this food and we like have so many meals that we're getting in the freezer, we're getting like quick work of it, but we're not making anything we can actually eat that day or like at that moment. Mm -hmm. and, and, we, we, and you're one of those people that sometimes forgets to eat. Yes. And I'm one of those people that won't quit until she sits down and eats. So, <laughs> so yeah. sometimes I'm the catalyst of, hey, I haven't eaten over here. <laughs> so we yeah. do, we have, we have a snack station and it was yep. the best thing we ever added. Totally. And she's a foodie, so it's a good snack station. Sometimes she's like, oh, I got this olive tapenade. <laughs> and we're going to have it on her Christinis. On her Christinis. <laughs> and I got picked up some halloumi cheese. And, and, um, and I had them just whip up some coconut shrimp. I don't know. But the snacking is good. But it carries yeah. you through. You need energy to do this. Don't skimp out on the totally. snacking. And, and water. replan a lunch. Drink lots of water, lots of coffee. Water, she's coffee, I'm a tea, but caffeine if you need it in whatever form you yeah. want it. Um, yeah. And then we plan a good playlist. So we've got music happening. We totally that helps have music keep happening. the energy up. Yes, and I don't know about you guys, but we do a lot of hits of the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. And Charlotte is a lyrics person, and I am a uh, um, melody and beat yeah. person. So I don't uh, often care what's in the lyrics <laughs> as long as it sounds really good. And she'll be like, I put this in the playlist. I want you to listen to it. And so we'll stop and we'll listen to it. And it's always awesome. She has <laughs> a very eclectic playlist happening here. And it's great. Yeah. Um, 
And usually in the beginning, they have to like go and find a speaker because one of your teens has taken it. Yes, yeah, true. And we have to charge it. But that's okay. That's just part of the fun. Yeah. That's the part of being in a family. Which and we then love. when you've got your playlist going, you're going to be moving and like, you know, dancing a little here and there. And mm -hmm. just like, it's it just keeps energy up. But speaking of the dancing, you need good shoes. You need good shoes. If you are on your feet all day, the way we are, you need good shoes. So the night before I come, or sometimes the morning of, because we always do it at Charlotte's house because she's got the bigger kitchen, I pack a box of things. And in that is definitely my shoes, my apron. And I used to bring over like my knives and cutting boards, but you eventually got better even. knives. Got better <laughs> knives. And you don't need the world's sharpest knives, but you need like some knives. You're gonna be doing some chopping. It is nice if you have the appropriate knives. Whatever you have at home is fine. Um, but then I would bring extras because to do a mega meal, you do need quite a bit of kitchen stuff. So I bring my stuff over and we double up. But today, what we have here and behind us is a good example of some of the things that we need. So number one that you're going to need is bowls. <laughs> Lots of bowls of many sizes. Big bowls, small bowls, bowls with lids. Um, a lot of this is for prep. So like when I slice the mushrooms or whatever, then I put it in one of my bowls that has a lid and then it can go in the fridge overnight. Mm -hmm. um, but I use, I go to the dollar store and I buy the big, how many, I don't know how many gallon. It's a, the, the rectangle container and it has a lid. I put my onions in it. I put my ground beef in it after I let it cool and I bring it over. I put cheese in it mm -hmm. and it's because it's, flat and long, it fits nicely in the fridge, I can stack them. So lots of containers. I did freezer meals. There's a video of me doing a lot of ground beef freezer meals and I did it, I did it at home by myself because she was away and I realized how privileged I was to come here with all of her bowls because I only, I, it's a pamper chef bowl. I love this bowl. I have a set of three, but it's really my only big bowls. But I kept having to wash it over and over again <laughs> to keep doing it. Whereas here, we can just... Sometimes her mom comes and washes dishes. Oh, if you can arrange amazing. her mom to come to your house and wash <laughs> dishes while we do it, it's awesome. So, oh, if you can get help, if you can get your kids opening cans, if you can get somebody helping you chop, you know, teach your kids how to chop, peel and chop carrots. Many so, hands make light work. It's true. It's, it's true. So, true. so, first of all, but you got to start it with your bowls. Bowls. Now, if you don't have these, that's totally okay. And you can rewash the same bowl, but also like ice cream pails or dollar store things, like they don't have to be fancy First store. bowls. Like totally, totally value village. You, you know, go and get your collection started with, you know, a dollar here or there. And you don't have to start off with all of this right away. And don't let this overwhelm you because like I said, we have a large family. We've been doing this for a lot of years and Christy's been doing this for a lot of years and there's two of us. So we can kind of share the things that we have. And some of the things I have, it's because she, like with the knives, she, she told me like, you need to get these knives because I'm tired of bringing my knives, but <laughs> mine, I got the sharpener for it. So every three months I come and I sharpen her knives before it's we true. start. It's Everybody awesome. needs a friend that's willing to sharpen their knives. <laughs> It's good. It's good. So then you're going to need measuring cups. You measure so much stuff. And even if you aren't actually measuring, you're using it as a scoop. So dry measuring cups, liquid measuring cups. When we first started, we would buy, we would look at, she would look at the recipes and say, okay, we need 26 pounds of chicken. And we would, it doesn't always end up nicely in the bags divided. Yeah. So we kind of switched over time to being like, okay, we need four to six chicken breasts. How many so, How many actual chicken breasts? Because it just works better. It just works better. So, so we, once you realize that two pounds of chicken is four to six chicken breasts, depending on how big they are, sometimes you get the big honking ones and sometimes they're a little on the skinnier side. And so you get better at judging that, but you might want a kitchen skill. That's all I'm saying. I don't have one and I've survived all these years without one. Yeah. But she's got one. I have one and there are times that I use it this juice jug 
Now, the containers Christy was talking about, like that uh, Rubbermaid container that's mm -hmm. more of a rectangle, that will work too. Yeah. But the reason that you might want to have a Rubbermaid container or a Ducha is if you're not doing freezer meals with a friend. But we, we don't need it because we are doing freezer meals with right? a friend. But if you're doing something soupy, corn chowder, for example, it's very soupy. There's your friend, it holds it up for you. And you can just put it in there and add as much liquid as you want to it and it's not gonna fall over on you. So, very handy little tip. tip. You can also buy these things that hold your bags up for you. I have one and like we do four meals at a time so the one doesn't help me but if I found the one helpful, I would buy more. I just honestly, like I find it is more cumbersome, cumbersome. Mm -hmm. than anything so but if that's your jam go ahead and use it because totally if you like it it totally and holds them up bang bang yeah. bang you can be fast but usually we just take our bags and we fold them over twice and then they sit nicely and yeah it does mostly what i need it to do totally so, so. we have our oh. measuring cups oh what and bags you need bags uh big bags little bags and a stapler so and here's the tip about the stapler so when you staple things together now why might you need to staple things together well you're going to put like your cheese or your pasta or something that's going to go on top or be cooked later the day of mm -hmm. in this bag or here sauce your, or something this is quart and gallon so is that what it is medium and large yes it's a quart and a gallon for so, our american friends yes we measure it took things me in football fields. So long to figure that out. But um, anyway, um, so quart and gallon. You're gonna have these for the on top. This is the main meal, and then you can staple them together. But you always need to, of course, staple them above the seal. Yeah, or you're gonna have a mess. And you need to take your staples out before <laughs> before you dump it in, or you. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you don't want that. Right? You don't want that. So we do have some reusable bags. They're silicone and some work better than others. We're still trying to find like the perfect one. Uh, when we find it, we'll be sure to let you know because so far we've had, we, we've had some luck, not great luck. Measuring spoons. You are going to need them. When I met Charlotte, she had three sets of these. You only have two right now, and I, I don't know why. I, don't know. I was so in love with them. I coveted her measuring spoons. I went and bought myself a set. They're Epicure, if you want to know. I know, but They're so I good. can't find them anymore. So if you're an Epicure rep, maybe talk to Epicure and get them making them again, because... They're good. They're good. And when we do, we do a jar of minced garlic, Almost always we have one spoon that just stays in the garlic jar because we will empty that sucker. We go through a lot. We sure do. Uh, this. Pamper Chef. It was the single fastest selling Pamper Chef item that they have ever offered. They sold out within a week when they first introduced this. It is so awesome. It's for your ground beef. You can separate your ground beef, your ground sausage. You can do scrambled eggs. Hey. Maybe I shred chicken with it. Shred chicken. If um, whole tomatoes are cheaper than diced tomatoes or crushed tomatoes, you just put that in the can and you have diced tomatoes. It's, I know, it's just like it's such a simple thing, but honestly, really love this. I have one Again, too. you don't need, you don't need this. one of these, but if you have one, pull it out Super for your freezer meals. You're gonna need a variety of spoons, scrapers, spatulas. Everybody's got something in their kitchen that they can use. Charla has a love-hate with spatulas. I love them, she hates them. But we make her use them, don't we? Yes, yes we do, because they work better. Uh, you're gonna need cutting boards to go along with your knives. They don't need to be fancy. You just wanna save your cupboard because you're cutting chicken. Um, dish soap, when I go to Costco, I will sometimes buy like the three pack of dish soap because we come to her house. How many years have I been coming here and using your dish soap? And I'm like, do you know what? I'm going to buy this girl some dish soap. <laughs> Thank Cause, you. Because it's a kind thing to do. I get to come and use her dish soap for free all the time. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Yes. So what else? Sometimes you're going to need tin foil. You're going to need foil trays. 
If you are doing meals for one and two people, you might want to stop at the dollar store or... Ooh, I have some right there. Ha <laughs> ha. Grab these little guys. They usually come with a, a cardboard lid that you could put right in there and you can write on it. Mm -hmm. um, oh, one thing that we did forget to mention, when she gives me the list of what we are making, I make labels. Uh, I'm an admin yes. whiz. Not everybody's gonna do this, but when we first started doing freezer meals, I, I came over the night before and Charlotte was sitting watching Grey's Anatomy with 200 bags <laughs> and writing what they were on them. And so, taking instructions with a Sharpie. With a Sharpie and I'm like, no, no, there's a better way. <laughs> so so I, go to, I go to Staples, that's like our Office Depot kind of office-y type store here. I buy a package of a thousand labels because we do eventually go through them. It does happen. And I am, because I do admin for a living, that's my job and I'm really good at using Word, Microsoft Word, I just make labels and it's got the name on it, it's got cooking instructions, and I usually put the date on it because that's handy to know. You wanna use yeah. this stuff up within three-ish months, six months if you need to, but if something is in there, I'm like, oh, you found it at the bottom and we did it like six years ago. You can go. You may not want to eat that. You can go. You can go. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Dates are good. So I do the labels. It is handy. The other reason I like labels is because sometimes you gift food. Somebody you know yes. is having a baby. You give them a freezer meal. Somebody you know just got a bad diagnosis. You give them a freezer meal. Somebody had surgery. Somebody broke their leg. Somebody's grandma died. You give them a freezer meal. It's easy. They're already right there. And do you know? Cooking instructions are on them. So you just, here you go. Here you go. It is that easy. And you don't do, need to do big overtures for people that you hardly know sometimes. It's just so simple. And so such a kind gesture to here, have a freezer meal and people will remember that forever. So you bring your cooler, a laundry basket usually, or sometimes a box. A laundry you have cats, so I bring my cooler, but a laundry basket works and a box works. Because I live two doors down, I wait until, so when we do our four meals, we count them, first of all, and then we have a little celebration because we add it to the list. Charlotte just can just put hers in the freezer and they can start freezing. I'm not gonna run home every time, so I bring a cooler. It sits on her front porch right beside my car, and I close the lid so that it can stay cool until it's, Hmm, until it's heavy enough that I'm like, oh, if I put any more in there, I won't lift it. Yeah. Because it can get pretty heavy. And so I throw it in my car, I take a little 10 minute, zoop, zoop, then I go and I put them in my freezer. And sometimes I grab extra ingredients that, that yeah, maybe we missed. Yeah, out of spices or something because I didn't do my inventory. Yeah. And so she'll grab Or she's home. thought of something else to make. Oh, we have leftover carrots and <laughs> something. And so I'm like, oh, I'll go grab you know, the lime juice, and we'll make something with the carrots and the lime juice. <laughs> <laughs> True story. <laughs> and so so then I bring my empty cooler back, and we continue to do it again. So again, it's nice to do that in the wintertime, because it can stay up there a little bit longer. In the summer, I have to go a little more often, because it does actually get hot here sometimes. It does. It does. Uh, surprisingly. But so if you live further away from the person that you're making meals with, then what you can do is you can bring several coolers packed with some ice packs, or you can just bring laundry baskets. And, you know, especially in the winter, those can stay outside. Mm -hmm. Or but, if they have room in their cooler, you just double up and you do less trips. Yeah. Like, is there anything else? Tin foil, foil pans, plaster wrap, sometimes you're gonna need. We use an electric can opener to save our wrists and to save time, but you can just use a regular can opener if you need. And that's kind of it. You just, you bring your, you bring your A game because by, by two o'clock on day two, it does take us two full days of, of making these meals when we have like 27 to 30 recipes. Um, and four each, it adds up. It adds up. And, and you're pretty tired, so you gotta bring your A-game. And uh, there's always a point where our brains stop working and, and we, we can't math. 
We can't yep. laugh at the best of times. It gets a little silly. It here. gets very silly. And then the kids start showing up after school and we put them to work and there's a dance party happening here and her husband will be like, what do you want me to bring home for supper? Yeah. Ironically. It's, it's ironic because we're making all these meals, but like... He'll pick I, up takeout for he'll us. He'll have to pick up supper okay. because I don't have time to make one of the meals. <laughs> it's like, it's so, we it's should so true. learn to put it in the crock pot or something, yeah. but... Whatever, we just get so focused on what we're doing. Yeah. But there used to be a point before we got as fast as and, and as efficient as we are because we've learned all the tips extra tips. That we've, you know, been sharing with you about, you know, do like proteins at the same time and do, you know, whatever. All these little things that we've figured out over the years. Mm -hmm. Before that, there was always a time, usually on day two, sometimes even on day one, where we would both be like, why do we do this to ourselves? <laughs> like, my shoulders hurt, my feet hurt. Why, why do we do this? Now, I don't get as sore because we do it much faster. We're much faster. We used to do three days sometimes. Sometimes we had assembly. to. And, and there was a point where I think I had to talk with you about maybe we don't need to do more meals. <laughs> yes. Maybe we just need to do faster meals like maybe maybe our goal should be like cutting down our time rather yes. than because we were running out of freezer space so you know yeah. we were good enough friends that I could say that and she could objectively look at it and say oh you know it's probably not a bad idea yeah yeah and Charlotte is really great at at, we, at the end we have a few extra things and that is when some of our best your best made up recipes come out because like, oh, we got a little bit of this left from our prep mm -hmm. and this left and I've got a can of this in the pantry and like, I think these would go well together. And she let's put cream cheese something. in the ground beef one day and like it <laughs> blew us all away. I made this amazing pasta bake. That it's had, really good. It's really good. It but really you know, good. I was like, I've got some cream cheese in the fridge and I've got, whatever. She's anyway, good at it. You need, um, you, one of you needs to be good at it. I'm not. But I'm a workhorse. I come and I do it all until it's done. <laughs> she she does. She's like she gets it done. We get it done. So um, I don't know what else we've got to tell you. We're excited to do this um, next session because, like Christy said, we are running out of meals. And when it gets down to it, like the other day, we had uh, stuffed peppers left but I didn't have time to go to the store and I didn't have any peppers. And so it's the filling for the stuffed peppers mm -hmm. that we had. And so we've got the, like the filling, the rice and the ground beef and all the seasonings and the cheese that goes on top, but I don't actually have the peppers. And I was like, oh, we're gonna make this into a skillet meal and um, it's not going inside peppers. <laughs> I legit made mine last night. Seriously, it's yeah. too funny that you're talking about it. I had one pepper, and I'm like, well, I'm not going to stuff the pepper. And I'm not going to just... We live out of town. We are country folk. I don't know if you realize that. Yeah. So I'm not going to town and go buy peppers for this meal. So I cut it up, and I'm like, now it's got peppers in it. It's a pepper casserole. It's a pepper casserole. I did it in the skillet. Casserole. I did it in the skillet. <laughs> and it was delicious, and it was good. So Yeah, ours was amazing, but we're kind of getting down to the end there. We're, we're yeah. like, just, we got to make this work. Yeah. So we're excited to get these meals done. I know that some of you have been waiting for this next like mega meal marathon video. So it is coming, just so you know that you can... You can stop waiting, it's coming. And why do we know videos. this? YouTube comments, but if you don't already know about it, we have a really great Facebook page. It's Freezer Meals 101. Come and join us there. It is the nicest, nicest Facebook page you have ever been in. So nice. And everybody there is helpful. Everybody has great tips and people can ask questions and it's not even us always that gets a chance to answer it first because there are a lot of knowledgeable people in there that have been doing a lot of cooking for a lot of years and they, this is old hat for them. So it is a really great community They're to be so in. They're so encouraging in there. It's, it's really encouraging. It's lovely. Yeah, so come join us in the Facebook group. Come join us in the membership club and uh, stick around on YouTube because we got lots coming your way. So Make sure you subscribe. Subscribe and we're gonna put a video over there of the mega think marathon when it gets done. Before it's done, it'll just be some random video over there, but it'll be one of ours, so <laughs> you can watch that. And you can check below for all those prep videos so that in anticipation of what's coming, you can watch the prep videos. Yeah. Thanks for joining us, guys. Good to see you. Happy cooking.